Hello everyone, welcome to all in your paid education. My name is Manish Singh and today I am going to discuss with you one descriptive question from production engineering and especially if I talk about this, uh, this question belongs to metal cutting and if I more precisely if I say so this is from a tool geometry correct. So this is very important question for upcoming uh, CGPD DTM exam. So if you are preparing for this exam then the, definitely this session and this lecture is uh, benefited for you guys correct so let's see how to solve this question so first we see what is the question so while uh, while turning a diameter of 90 mm the turning tool is set below the center line you can see in this we have a tool is set below the tool is set below the below the center line by an amount equal to 5 mm correct then find out the change in effective cutting tool geometry is it clear so how to solve this question so let's see if i draw you can see here so let us suppose let us suppose you have a turning to uh, sorry workpiece whose diameter is like this yes or no this is your workpiece and this is center of the workpiece yes or no and actually while turning we always provide a tool at the center of the workpiece yes or no but by mistake if we put our tool either above the either above the center or below the center so in this question uh, the tool is set below the center line means if i say if i say this is a point at which our tool is set Correct, and this is our turning tool. Yes or no? This is our turning tool, and we set the tool below the center line. And if I say this gap is nothing but this is already given here, which is five millimeter. This gap is already given here, that is five millimeter, and it's a diameter is nothing. It's a diameter is nothing but this is ninety millimeter. This information is given in the question. Correct. So, what will happen on the tool geometry, yes or no? So, as you know that, as we know that, as we know that, if I, uh, if I join the center of the workpiece to the tip of the tool, correct? If I join the center, center of the workpiece to the tip of the tool, you can see like this. Is it clear? So if I draw it's perpendicular, so can I say this is this is tangent to the workpiece and this is normal to the workpiece? Yes or no? Is it clear? So we have a cutting velocity along this direction. This is our cutting velocity. Can I say this is cutting velocity? Obviously, when this tool is rotating along this direction in the clockwise direction, and if I draw a tangent, so can I say this is tangential velocity of the workpiece? Yes or no? And uh, normal to this, and normal to this, you can see here it is looking like this. It is looking like this, yes or no? So, this is normal. So, can I say this normal is nothing but this is a reference plane? This is called as reference plane, yes or no? This is reference plane, and we already know the rack angle of the tool is always measured from the reference plane yes or no so this is reference plane is it clear suppose if i draw this tool again we have a tool like this this is our tool is it clear this is our tool and uh, if this is cutting velocity vector if this is cutting velocity vector and when we get this this is cutting velocity vector when the when the tool is placed at the center of the workpiece then obviously we can say this is our reference plane this is our reference plane and the angle measured from the reference plane to the cutting edge sorry rack surface this is rack surface this is rack surface of the tool or simply you can say rack of the tool yes or no correct so if we measure the angle from rack of the tool to the reference plane then this is called as back rack angle this is called as back rack angle and this is back rack angle geometry of the tool which is already provided on the tool yes or no but when we put this tool wrongly below the center of the workpiece then what will happen you can see here in this figure in this figure actually this is our reference plane 
actually when you put this tool at the center of the workpiece then this will be the reference plane but since we place this tool below the center line then its reference plane will change yes or no this is the reference plane this is the reference plane this is the reference plane when when you put this tool at exactly at the center of the workpiece yes or no but since we put this tool below the center line then the reference plane will change yes or no and if, if its reference plane will change then you can see here the tool geometry will also change this is your tool geometry which is provided to the tool in its, this is a tool geometry or we can say back rectangle which we provide on the tool yes or no and similarly this angle is nothing but this is called as and a clearance angle this angle is nothing but angle formed between angle formed between angle formed between and flank to the cutting velocity vector and flank say cutting velocity vector ke beech ka jo angle hota that is called as that is called as and clearance angle it is the angle formed between and flank you can see this is called as and flank this is called as and flank yes or no this is called as and flank so the angle formed between and flank and this is cutting velocity vector this is cutting velocity vector this is cutting velocity vector is it clear so the angle formed between and flank and the cutting velocity vector is known as and cutting edge angle this is called as and sorry and clearance angle and clearance angle or you can say and relief angle yes or no so as we know that this is back rack angle that's that this is and relief angle and now if you see when we place the tool wrongly below the center of the workpiece then you can see here then you can see here the new and relief angle will be looking like this yes or no this angle is called as this angle is called as new rack sorry new and relief angle that is this is e theta e prime and similarly this angle you can see here this angle this angle is nothing but this is modified back rack angle let's say this is alpha b prime so in this question actually we need to calculate alpha b prime and theta e prime is it clear here we need to calculate alpha b prime and theta e prime yes or no this is the objective of this question so i hope you will understand why this alpha b and theta e will change when you place this tool either below the center of the workpiece or above the center of the workpiece and obviously in this question it is mentioned here the tool is placed wrongly below the center of the workpiece then this kind of things will change yes or no and can i say this angle can i say you can see here uh, let's say in the next slide this is our work piece yes or no this is our work piece and this is center of the work piece yes or no and uh, suppose if i draw this is a center line of the work piece yes or no and, and wrongly we put the tool wrongly we put the tool below the center line like this is it clear so if i extend if i extend this line correct so this is our new reference plane this is old reference plane this is old reference plane and this is new reference plane this is new reference plane yes or no this is new reference plane is it clear and if i draw a perpendicular from this then can i say this is cutting velocity vector yes or no this is cutting velocity vector and the angle formed between this and flank and the cutting velocity vector this is theta e and and you can see here this is this is alpha b prime and this is theta e prime yes or no so you can see here actually actually we have this angle you can see actually we have this angle if i draw perpendicular from this and if i draw perpendicular from this yes or no so this angle is the original angle this is theta e sorry not theta e prime this is theta e and similarly this is theta sorry not theta this is alpha b yes or no so how much angle will change so can i say this angle is theta let's say this angle is theta yes or no can i say this angle is theta yes or no 
so if we get theta then we can easily understand how much theta e prime will be there and how much alpha b will be there yes or no so how we calculate so you can see theta is nothing but this is the angle formed between this so can i say this is also a theta yes or no and if i draw perpendicular from it so simply you can see this is the radius this is radius of the circle radius of the workpiece yes or no and this is 5 millimeter this is already given in the question yes or no so simply can i say from this if i say the sin theta sin theta then this is nothing but perpendicular upon hypotenuse and how, what is the diameter of the circle diameter of the workpiece is 90 mm so if i say its radius then it will be 45 mm is it clear it will be 45 mm so 9 uh, 4 by 45 so simply here we can get 1 by 9 so if I calculate this angle, if I calculate this angle, so simply here we get this is 6.37, this is 6.37 degree, yes or no, 6.379, 6.379, simply here we can get theta is equal to 6.379 degree yes or no and once you get theta once you get theta then simply you can see here this angle is nothing but this is theta e prime so how we will get theta e prime so obviously you know this angle this angle is theta and this angle is theta e so can i say theta e prime is nothing but this is theta e plus theta is it clear? theta e plus theta and similarly if i talk about if I talk about alpha b prime, then you can see here this angle is theta and this angle is alpha b. So if I subtract this theta from alpha b, then we can get alpha b prime. So simply from this expression, can I say, simply from this expression, can I say the clearest angle will be increases and the back rack angle will be decreases by putting the tool below the center line of the work pieces or no during the turning operation is it clear so i hope you will understand what are the things which can be changed and let us assume initially initially let us assume initially alpha b is nothing but let us say this is 10 degree and theta is nothing but theta is nothing but if this is 5 degree is it clear so if we want to calculate theta e prime so can i say this is nothing but this is 5 degree this is 5 degree this is original theta e and the change is nothing but this is 6.379 degree yes or no so simply here we can get 11.379 degree this is new clearance angle and similarly if i calculate alpha b prime then this is nothing but this is 10 minus 6. 379 degree so here we get one this is two and this is two point three so three point two two one degree three point two two one degree this is the new alpha b yes or no this is the new alpha b so from this you will, you will calculate this uh, new uh, tool geometry angle yes or no that is theta e and theta sorry theta e prime and alpha b prime so like this we can solve this question yes or no so correct so this is uh, this is the question this is the question from tool geometry and this is very very important question correct so dear students if you are planning to prepare for this exam and still if you have not started your uh, preparation for conventional exam so you just join a new batch or you just join a module launched by a, your PDI education team, correct? Your PDI education team already provides a module, a specific module, module for conventional preparation of this exam, yes or no? And uh, even two subjects are completed, so if you are planning then you just join it, correct? Otherwise, if you are late, karte ho, to definitely you lose something. Correct? Because the time between mains and pre, pre and mains is very less. Pe kam time diya hua hai, and that time is not enough for the preparation of conventional exam. So you start your preparation from now, today. Aaj se start karna padega, then your preparation will be achche se hoi. Is it clear? So this is all about this session. Thank you for watching and good day to all of you guys.